Juanetu Shagloha Coea a Spaiola e apiki. A umaspe, e a champetu anji blucha. Taco e apiki le umaspe, malacota, malacota cha. A he haia wana lacota e apiki, umspe michiche. Eta yut haka liatu in a oa eagana corna ho, wana oa eagana corki hechiacha. Yaniki de ata wana tapscata was de mogada carta. How me daco yepi? Kuakata elwati, ash let you own a letcher, wakaha wakahi de wakaha he look ho we cho ye he magic eh. Can you say that? Wakaha, can everybody say that? Very good. There was a point right. when so, Lakota was the only language we heard in this land. When I speak Lakota, I feel connected. I feel connected to all my relatives in the previous generations. I feel connected to my land. There's nothing to compare it to the, the feeling of being Lakota in Lakota country, speaking Lakota. They were once called the Sioux Indians, the people of the Lakota and Dakota tribes. With over 170,000 tribal members, they make up one of the largest Indian nations in North America today. About half of all Lakota Dakota people live on reservations primarily in North and South Dakota. And over half of the people actually are now what I am, which is called an urban Indian. Basically, you live off the reservation where there are better chances of getting employment. Before Columbus, Lakota was one of 300 native languages spoken north of Mexico. Today, only half of those languages remain. Experts say that by the year 2050, just 20 indigenous American languages will exist. The Lakota language is at risk. Only 6,000 people speak Lakota, and the average age of its speakers will soon be 70 years old. In my experience in the last 40 years, we went from a condition here in this community from hearing so much Lakota on a daily basis to now never hearing it because those few elders that are speaking, they seldom get together into a, a, a group where you can actually hear a discussion or a conversation in the language. The problem with Lakota language is one that is shared with languages all over the world. This is a time in human history where languages in large numbers are becoming extinct. It's a universal problem, so we are not alone.